Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. This is a very important day for Pakistan, being the birth anniversary of the father of the nation, Qaeda-e-Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. It was in this light that this day was chosen for the humanitarian meeting of Commander Yadav with his wife and mother. Today is also Christmas and our best wishes go to our Christian friends in Pakistan and all around the world. As you are aware, the meeting of the wife and mother of Commander Yadav has just ended. Commander Yadav, an Indian spy, a terrorist and a saboteur, is a serving Indian naval officer sentenced to death for his involvement in espionage terrorism and subversive activities against Pakistan. He conducted these activities especially in Balochistan and Sindh provinces. He confessed about his condemnable actions before a judicial magistrate and court. He also stated that he was tasked by the research analysis wing RAW, the Indian Intelligence Agency, to plan coordinate and organize espionage, terrorism and sabotage, aiming to destabilize and wage war against Pakistan. He made every effort to impede the efforts of law enforcement agencies of Pakistan and was eventually caught red-handed in Pakistan. During his trial at the Field General Court Martial, the FGCM, he was provided a defending officer as per the law of the land. In his mercy petition to the Chief of Army Staff on Compassionate Grounds in June 2017, he again admitted his involvement in espionage, terrorism and subversive activities against Pakistan and expressed remorse at the resultant loss of precious innocent lives and damage to property. He has admitted of involvement in the assassination of SSP Aslam Chaudhary in Karachi. He has also confessed to, to targeting various workers of the Frontier Works Organization, FWO, who were conducting different construction activities in Balochistan and also many IED attacks which were carried out in Quetta, Turbat and other cities, especially in Balochistan. He supported TTP and other groups, especially in the attack on the Mehran naval base, various radar installations and the sui gas pipeline attack. All these were directly sponsored by RAW. Let us be very clear that Commander Yadav is the face of Indian terrorism, especially in Pakistan. India was provided with a copy of the passport that was in the possession of Commander Yadav when he was apprehended. The passport bears a Muslim name, Hussain Mubarak Patel, which clearly is not Commander Yadav. India has been unable and unwilling to provide an explanation about how and why an authentic Indian passport was used on a false ID, not once but at least 17 times as Commander Jadav travelled in and out of India. Indian silence is telling. Upon completion of investigations and the trial, Pakistan offered to India that the wife of Commander Jadav may visit to meet him. He rece we received an Indian request that the mother of Commander Jadav may also be permitted to meet him and a diplomat of the Indian High Commission in Islamabad to accompany the ladies. The request was considered in Pakistan and it was granted. The diplomat was present during the meeting and he could see Commander Yadav. He was not allowed to speak or listen to the conversation of Commander Yadav. The visit was allowed in line with Islamic practices and teachings. Islam is the religion of peace and advocates mercy. It is a gesture of good faith and compassion. Commander Jadav's actions at Indian behest have deprived many mothers of their sons 
and daughters. Pakistan upholds the Islamic morals and values which teach mercy, grace and compassion for all. One good deed should beget another. Such decisions should serve as templates for others to follow, including in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, where innocent blood continues to be spilled. I now have to show you a couple of slides, if I could have them up here. This is the medical report of Commander Yadav. Uh, share it with me. Uh, Dr. Johannes Nelson of Saudi German Hospital Dubai and it's a detailed report which you can see he is in good health uh, ECG, sinus tachycardia, ultrasound is normal, he's fine and the next slide please the next one has a comment yeah it says that Mr. Kulbushin is in excellent healthy condition his BMI is ideal for his height the musculoskeletal system is symmetric, well equipped, no functional deficit. Normal is fine. And the next slide, please. The next one has a comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says that Mr. Kulbushin is in excellent healthy condition. His BMI is ideal for his height. The musculoskeletal system is symmetric, well equipped, no functional deficits, normal strength. Neuronal system is normal. This was done in Islamabad on the 22nd of December uh, and that is signed accordingly.